got my spine, I got my orange crush. Oh, hi Mark. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ranking the Studio Albums. I got my big record collection, one of those sides of me somewhere back there. And uh, today's video is going to be uh, probably one of my most challenging Ranking the Studio Albums. Um, I think this is definitely the most albums I've tried to cover in one video. Uh, this is going to be Ranking the Studio Albums by R.E.M., uh, early uh, Georgia band uh, that, that was really one of the innovators of alternative rock. And uh, really love some R.E.M. I uh, grew up, uh, my parents had some R.E.M. CDs in their collection. And uh, of course I borrowed those, fell in love with them. I think my parents had Automatic for the People and um, like Document, maybe Out of Time or Green. Uh, they had a lot of those, uh, those 80s and 90s records that were so great, right? So great. Uh, they're definitely coming in pretty high on my list. Um, but let's just jump right into it because there's 15 albums, I believe. And uh, we got we to gotta just move right along. Uh, we're going to be starting off with what is your what is your guys' least favorite REM record? For me personally, and it was really close with these um, to have 15 albums and try to compare each one to each other, which is what this is about. Um, it's really difficult with such a what's with such a great discography. Um, but I gotta say, I am unusual in that I typically like later era albums of most artists compared to their earlier albums. Now that does have to do a lot with what band it is, but um, with R.E.M. I, I did tend to like their, um, I don't know, some of the newer stuff in my opinion was better than some of the older stuff. Coming in at the bottom is going to be New Adventures in Hi-Fi. Okay, this one had, uh, I cannot for the life of me place what Ebo the Letter sounds like. Um, but this album had Ebo the Letter, uh, New Test Leper, How the West Was Won and Where It Got Us. I do like that title. Uh, Bittersweet Me and Electrolyte were some of the more popular um, tracks on this album. But for me personally, this 1996 release just wasn't doing much for me sonically. Um, coming in next, what do we have next? We got 1998's Up. And this one, again, uh, I don't think there was really much on here that I, that I was crazy about. Um, the singles were Day Sleeper, Lotus, At My Most Beautiful, and Suspicion. And um, yeah, again, I can't really, and I've listened to all these. Um, just nothing really standing out to me on those albums. Um, I think, you know, I think you guys are going to be really into the early stuff. I hear so much praise for these albums. Coming up next is going to be Fables of the Reconstruction. This one came out the year that I was born. Uh, this came out several months before I was born. So this album's older than I am. So it's, you know, 35 years old, 35 and a half. Uh, you got Driver 8, Can't Get There From Here, and Wendell G um, are some of the singles off the record. And again, just nothing really catching my ear, nothing really holding on to my heartstrings from uh, Fables of the Reconstruction. I know it's a classic album, but you know, just in my personal opinion, that, that doesn't make it good, and it wasn't. Let's see what we got next. So many albums. They're just decades and decades of music. How do you guys feel about REM? I'm, I'm pretty excited with how they, how they ended. Um, and I love, I, I've listened to Michael Stipe uh, talk about this a lot, how they accomplished their dreams and accomplished their goals. And that was it. They said, we, we did what we wanted to do. Um, so that's pretty happy. That's a pretty happy way for a band to go out, right? To go out on top, really. And um, coming in next, 
This is going to be Monster, another classic. I know people are like, why are you ranking these so low? It's because it's my opinion, and I can rank them however I like. This one does have some good songs like What's the Frequency, Kenneth. Is, a, is pretty great. Uh, Bang and Blame, uh, Crush with Eyeliner, um, Tongue and Strange Currencies were other singles, but I was not crazy about those. Um, some of the deep cuts on that one are not bad at all. So coming in at my fifth, fifth from bottom, we're starting to get into some better material. Um, we're going to jump ahead into, we're going to collapse into the now or at least 2011 with this. Uh, this is their final record. And um, I picked this one up at the library and um, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed Discover, Oh My Heart, Uberlin, um, even some of the deep cuts on here. Um, Every Day is Yours to Win. I do love that the track listing is broken into the X axis and Y axis. That's a pretty interesting concept. Um, if you really get into the, uh, the themes of the record, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff there on Collapse in the Now from 2011. <clears throat> Coming in next is going to be another one of those classic albums from the pre-me days, um, Murmur. And some nice dead kudzu there. Um, you got Radio Free Europe and Talk About Passion as the singles. Uh, you also have Pilgrimage. Laughing Moral Kiosk, interesting song title, Perfect Circle, Catapult, Sitting Steel, Nine Nine, Shaking Through, We Walk, and West of the Fields, which has a little bit of a different writing credit on it than most of the other songs. So yeah, 1983's Murmur, uh, <clears throat> nothing to complain about, just not, not, again, not any of those songs that just make me go, whoa, I really want to hear this all the time we'll get to those we'll get to those coming up next is 1986's life's rich pageant came out in uh, july of 86 uh, begin the begin is a great way to begin the begin uh, three these days fall on fall on me fall on me uh one of you know that's that's where the singles from R.E.M. start to get really uh, kind of epic and more uh, pop oriented. Uh, maybe why some people um, <clears throat> stopped enjoying R.E.M. while others jumped on board. Um, <clears throat> Kyohoga, Hyena, Under the Bunker. Un Under the Bunker is not listed on the title track. Um, then you got Side 2, which is Flowers of Guatemala, I believe. What if we give it away? Just a touch and Swan Swan H. And Superman, which is unlisted on the tracking as well. Pretty interesting album there in Murmur. Really uh, kind of enjoying a lot more uh, now that we've gotten into some of my, you know, we've started at the worst and we're working our way up to the better stuff. And it just, uh, I don't know. I think I messed up there. Anyway, yeah, Collapse in the Now, Murmur, Life's Rich Pageant. And then we're going to come. Uh, I'm trying not to lose track, guys. There's so many albums here. Coming in next is um, is a favorite of mine. We're starting to get, we're going to start getting into these 2000 records. Um, this was a gift from my parents. This is a reveal from uh, 2001. And it's not a perfect record by any means. Um, it's kind of a little bit drab in places, but it was my first uh, ownership of a REM album that I hadn't jacked from my parents' uh, CD collection in the living room. Um, absolutely love the, the modern uh, singles of All the Way to Ringo, Reno, You're Going to Be a Star. Uh, Imitation of Life had a really great, innovative music video that really caught my attention. Um, I'll Take the Rain is great. And even some of the deep cuts on this thing are pretty good. Um, uh, Beat a Drum is really great. I remember as a kid getting this one mixed up with that popular song, I just want to bang on a drum all day. 
I, for some reason, because of beat a drum, I thought that was REM. Imagine a world where that was true. I don't want something or other. I just want to bang on a drum all day. Who sang that? Uh, but yeah, um, that one, you know, it, it could have been better. Uh, for a 2001 uh, record, it, it definitely could have had some more, uh, some more give in terms of entertaining uh, and listenability uh, quality, right? Some big words for you guys there. Right. Okay, moving on. We're getting into, ooh, this is a, I think this is a, a fun one too. Um, this is going to be the 14th studio album uh, by R.E.M. called Accelerate. Like, uh, hmm, not the best album art, but they've never really been known for great album artwork. At least I don't think so. Uh, <clears throat> Man Size Wreath is great. You got the introduction, uh, Living Well is the Best Revenge, Supernatural, Super Serious, Hollow Man um, was the single that got me pumped up for this record uh, before it came out. That was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> Houston, Accelerate, Until the Day is Done, Mr. Richard, Sing for the Submarine, Horse to Water, and I'm Gonna DJ. Uh, there's a, a huge bonus track as well. Um, with some B-sides and, and live performances. So uh, overall, I felt like Accelerate was, uh, you know, an acceptable uh, acceleration of their career. Coming in next is going to be an... I actually do like the album art for this one. Uh, 1984's Reckoning uh, with the snakes with some writing on it. Um, again, this is before I was alive. Uh, REM have just, you know, they were like one of the originators of modern alternative rock. Uh, Harbor Coat, Seven Chinese Brothers, South Central Rain, I'm Sorry, is a great one. Pretty Persuasion was another single, Time After Time, and Nelise, Second Guessing, Letters Never Sent, Camera, Don't Go Back to Rockville, and Little America. There was some major, massive deluxe editions of this one. Um released as well. Bless you, buddy. Buddy's reverse sneezing back there. You're okay. You're okay. You're not dying. Coming in next, and again, this, I think this was one from, yep, this one was from my parents' collection, Green. Um, I think my mom, uh, she's no longer with us, but uh, she was, uh, she had a, a, um, a collection of 90s music that, uh, you know, I wasn't really aware of, but every now and then I'd be discovering music in the 90s. My mom would have a CD and she'd have it. Um, so Green had Pop Song 89, Get Up, You Are the Everything, Stand in the Place Where You Were, Now Face Right, Think About Direction, Wonder Why You Have It Now, Stand. I got my spine, I got my orange crush. Follow me, don't follow me. Oh, yeah, um, Turn You Inside Out, not, not remembering that one. Hair Shirt, I Remember California, and Untitled. Uh, the 21st, 25th anniversary has some major, major uh, 1989 concert from Greensboro. That's just right up the road from me here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to check out the deluxe editions, they're pretty, look like they're pretty substantial for these, uh, these anniversary releases. Uh, they've got like double, sometimes triple or quadruple the track listings. So yeah, 1988's Green was uh, definitely influential in my growing up. Uh, it came out when I was three. Uh, so let's move on. Yeah, we got time. We got time. We're going fast. We're going fast through this discography. What year did this come? We are we are not running out of time. We are not running out of time. We are ranking REMs out of time. This one came out in 91. I would have been in first grade. Some cool alternative covers. Spanish limited edition LP covers. Um, this one... Man, I uh, this one I almost wanted to rank higher because of 
Losing My Religion. I that's that's one of those songs. Um, it's one of my favorites to play on acoustic guitar. I don't think I've ever played it on electric. But uh, yeah, Losing My Religion. I mean, it's one of the greatest REM songs. It might be the greatest REM song of all time. Uh, it was definitely a success, and it should have been. Um, it was so good, I almost wondered why it was a single that was so good. Um, radio song, low, near wild heaven, in game, shiny happy people, shiny happy people, and stand. I know the band has kind of, you know, knocked those songs in interviews, but you know, they're fun. They're fun to listen to, and they got the job done. They were definitely big hits. Belong, Half a World Away, Texarkana, Country Feedback, and Me and Honey. What is up with these song titles? Mine Tastes Like Honey, Me and Honey. What is up with uh, Michael Stipe and uh, Honey? Does anybody know what he's what the deal is there? What the end game is? Um, is he actually a bee and not a human? Okay, so that was 1991's Out of Time. Let's find my third favorite. Third favorite. Third favorite REM record is going to have to go to 1987's Document. Is there a fifth album? Um, I was two, I was around one or two around the time, and um, Finest Work Song is a great way to kick off a record in my opinion. Welcome to the Occupation, Exhuming McCarthy, Disturbance at the Heron House, Strange, which is a, uh, I guess it's a cover song, and The End of the World as We Know It, and I Feel Fine. Um, this song has a special place in my life. You know, it's a very popular song, but uh, my cousin, um, my cousin played that song a lot, and um, and me and him really enjoyed it a lot. I actually have a, a friend in a band called Islander. They just released their cover of it. If you want to check that out, um, maybe I'll leave a, a link in, in below. Maybe I won't. Maybe you can just go look it up. Islander. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. I love the rapid fire uh, lyrics in that one. I dare you to sing along to it and get every word right. I, I'm still at a loss as to some of those lyrics, and I've read them over and over and over. Uh, the one I love um, is one of my favorite songs as well. Um, there's some confusion, and, and that song is really dark. Um, some people were using, that's one of those songs like Green Day's Good Riddance where people are using it for a wedding and the song is really dark. Um, it's, this one goes out to the one I love, this one goes out to the one I've left behind. And it even goes, it's, it's much worse than that. A simple prop to occupy my time. Another prop has occupied my time. I mean, it's, it's really dark and disturbing. I uh, really love the one I love. <laughs> I really love the one I love, guys. Fireplace, Light, Lightning Hopkins, King of Birds, and Oddfellows Local 151. Just keeping that tradition of the really bizarre song titles, that's sort of influenced me with my really creative uh, song titles. Um... This one goes out to the one I love. This one goes out to the one I've left behind. Uh, the record became a popular thing to dedicate to loved ones. Um, it's a manipulative theme. A simple prop. Um, it was incredibly violent. And it's very clear that it's about using people over and over again. Um, the third verse changes a simple prop to another prop. And uh, she's coming down on her own, coming down on her own, sang by Mike Mills. Uh, man, that, that song is just haunting, especially for the people that maybe are looking back at their wedding that they played that at. And they're thinking, ooh, maybe, maybe that's why we got divorced. 
We were blasting good riddance time of your life and the one I love uh, when we should have been playing, you know, anything else. Literally any other song. Okay, are you guys ready for my number one, two, and one? One and two. Uh, my top two favorite favorite REM records. I got I got one here. I got a physical one. Coming in next, this again was in my parents' uh, CD collection in the 90s. And um, this is the eighth studio album. Um, I released October 5th, 92. And it has, uh, has a Baroque pop sound mixed with the alternative. This is Automatic for the People. Really, absolutely, this is probably the one that got me, um, oh man. Uh, so, album kicks off, you got the drive side and the ride side, which is interesting. Um, starts off a drive, um, Try Not to Breathe, The Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight is a favorite of mine. Everybody Hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I've shared the music video on social media. I play this song on guitar all the time. I need to do like an electrified version of that song. That would be that would be interesting. Um, Everybody Hurts. Wow. Um, came out in 93 after the album had been out for a little while. Um, it was ranked as one of the best songs ever. Um, it's coming in a lot of a lot of great lists. Here's the single uh, covers. Let's see if I can. Oh, where is he at? Um, yeah, written by the whole band. The song is just great. Um, it's a drum machine. Um, the string arrangement was written by Led Zeppelin bassist John Paul Jones. Um, it was a one minute long country and western song. Um, kind of Otis Redding vibe. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Absolutely beautiful. You know, um, it just brings me to tears every time I listen to it. Um, it really helps me heal um, when I'm going through some bad things. That song is just, man. Um, if you're on your own in this life, the days and nights are long. If you feel like letting go, hold on, hold on. Because everybody hurts sometimes. Sometimes everything is wrong. Now it's time to sing along. You are not alone. You are not alone. We got to move on. We got, we still got several more songs on this album. And then we got to do my number one. Had you guys figured it out? My number one REM album. Okay, I pulled it off the shelf from back there. Um, you got New Orleans Instrumental Number One. You got Sweetness Follows. Monty Got a Raw Deal. Ignore Land. Star Me Kitten. I'm hearing some haunted house noises. Man on the Moon. Oh, man. Uh, Night Swimming and Find the River are great. I absolutely love Night Swimming. Man on the Moon. That's another one. For some reason, and I don't know why it is, maybe you guys can explain this. Um, R.E.M. are not my favorite band of all time. They actually come in at number 84 on my list. Um, I like 39 songs out of 178, um, which puts them at 21.91% of how much I love them. Um, they are disbanded permanently. They want to be the first band that actually stay disbanded. 
you know, in rock and roll, they say never say never. But uh, R.E.M. want to be the one band that really sticks to their guns and not reunite. Um, Man in the Moon. Man in the Moon is pretty great. Um, the B-side is New Orleans Instrumental Part 2, which is interesting. Um, a country rock. I don't hear it. I do not hear country rock anywhere in R.E.M.'s discography. I don't hear any trace of southernness anywhere in their music. Of all the bands to call country rock, I don't hear it. And Man on the Moon? What is southern? What is country about Man on the Moon? I mean, I get it that they're from the south. They're from uh, right up the road. Uh, they're like, you know, like REM, their hometown is probably two, three hours from here really cool i might actually check out their hometown maybe i'll do a video on that one day do a day trip and uh see where rem came up at that could be interesting i might actually do that um when things are better when things are better this is 2020 things are bad right now um man on the moon was is a fantastic uh song it was from the man on the moon soundtrack and i absolutely love the humor that is uh, that's a huge part of REM is their strangeness, their creativity, and their humor in their lyrics. And this song just perfectly encapsulates that that uh, that spirit of REM. Um, if you believe they put a man on the moon, man on the moon, and if you believe. There's nothing up his sleeve, then nothing is cool. Moses went walking with a staff of wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Newton got bean by the apple good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a truck stop instead of St. Peter's. Yeah, 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 yeah. in the punch Andy are you goofing on Elvis hey baby are we losing touch cause if you believe they put a man on the moon man on the moon and if you believe it's a chihuahua on my couch then nothing is cool I am so cool uh are you guys ready? Have you figured it out? You probably can't because there's so many records. 15 records by these guys. And what a what a fun ride it was listening to all these. Even the, even the ones that I didn't uh, particularly dig. Oh, man. Oh, man. Absolutely love this one. Oh, man. And I know that this is so, so unpopular. And it makes me feel good. They're... they're Probably their least successful record is my favorite. This is the back. And this is the front. Uh, Around the Sun, released in 2004. Um, absolutely, in my opinion, the best REM record that there is. I don't know what it is about the style here. Uh, again, it was kind of like Pearl Jam's Riot Act, where people felt like uh, this was R.E.M.'s album where they just kind of maybe had given up before it came out. But I really, really enjoyed this. I felt like it was a really creative uh, record, and I really just love the flavor of it. Um, Leaving New York uh, was the single that got me, that made me run out to the record store I got this at Earshot, which was a really cool record store uh, here in South Carolina. It's it's gone now, obviously, like all the record stores. But uh, yeah, I ran out, got it for nine fifty. I think I I probably got this new for nine fifty anyway, uh, because everybody hated it so much. Uh, leaving New York never easy. 
I saw the light faded out. I, the, the lyrics, oh my gosh, the lyrics on here are so bizarre and so unique and so personal to me. It's just, you know, it's really, it's just like the perfect moment for me and R.E.M. Um, I just, so many of these lyrics just hit me in just the right way and so hard. Um, Leaving New York never easy. I saw the light fading out. Uh, leaving was never my proud. I love how Scott, uh, not Scott, not Michael Scott, uh, Scott Stipe, I love his just bizarre, quirky lyrics here. Leaving was never my proud. Um, which is an interesting way of saying I wasn't proud of leaving. Uh, he made it interesting. Uh, Electron Blue. Electron Blue. Uh, it's just got a nice, like the, the vibe uh, fits the, the aesthetic of the album. I really love the album cover. Love the inner artwork. There's the CD. Oh man, love that too. Absolutely love this whole... Oh man. Smells so good. There's somebody in flip-flops. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen flip-flops on a rock record. We'll unfold this in a minute while we're unpacking this album. Um, the Outsiders, track three, um, is a first for R.E.M. in that it features a rap uh, by rapper Q-Tip. And I absolutely love it. Uh, the Outsiders, um, you know, it's about being on the outside and um, a man walks away when everything says to stay. Some just really, like, even, even the rap verse is just so emotional and so dark and so uh, sad and, and, um, and broken hearted. I, I just can't help but, but just listen to that one over and over again. Um, Make It All Okay is really great. The Final Straw, uh, I believe, was released early on. And it, it's not one of my favorites, but it's a good song, too. It's, a, it's an anti-George Bush Jr. song. Um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I told you I wanted to be wrong, but everyone is singing a song that I don't understand. I told you I wanted to be wrong, but everyone is singing a song. Uh, Wonderlust is great. A Boy in the Well is a highlight. Aftermath, High Speed Train. I jump on a high speed train. Uh, the Worst Joke Ever is hilarious. The Ascent of Man and the title track Around the Sun. This thing was produced by Paul McCarthy. And REM, and uh, it was on Warner Brothers Records, and uh, you know there's the the Digipack. Love the love the love this. We're gonna see what's in here, folks. Oh, other than the good smell, whoa, this is huge. Massive black and white lyric sheet. Oh, and the poster. This is. The moment you've all been waiting for. The most beautiful poster of all time. Does anybody hang these up? Like who's hanging up lyric sheets in their bedroom? I never did that. Um, but yeah, let's let's deep dive into these lyrics. This massive lyric sheet. Um, it's quiet now and what it brings is everything. Call, call, calling back. A brilliant night. I'm still awake. I'm looking ahead. I'm sure I saw you there. You don't need me to tell you that nothing can compare. You might have laughed if I told you. You might have hid in a frown. You might have succeeded in changing me. I might have been turned around. It's easier to leave than to be left behind. Leaving was never my proud. 
Leaving New York never easy. I saw the light fading out. Now life is sweet and what it brings. I try to take, but loneliness, it wears me out and it lies awake. And all's not lost, still in my eye, the shadow of a necklace across your thigh. I might have lived my life in a dream, but I swear it, this is real. Wow. Memory fuses and shatters like glass. Mercurial future. Forget the past. It's you. It's what I feel. Wow. I told you. Forever. I love you. Forever. I told you. Forever. I love you. Forever. You never. You never. You never told me forever. Wow. Leaving New York is incredibly deep. Uh, just really, it's written by someone who's just been torn apart uh, by a relationship, just completely destroyed by the other person. Wow. Um, Electron Blue. You're on your ear. The ocean's near. The light has started to fade. Your high is timed. You found the climb. It's hard to focus on what on more than what's in front of you. Electron blue. Adventure rings with a page and when it's down on you, it singes blue. Your buzz beginning to wane. Adventure has laid its claim on you. It's all you want to do. You, you know how to run. You run electron blue. And who am I? I'm just a guy. I've got a story like everyone. But in your eyes, you look surprised and didn't know where to run. I look to her. She's found the cure. Her future's already begun. Um, tomorrow's gaining speed on you. It's all you want to do. So bide your time. You feel the climb. You're high. It builds like a lightning storm. It sings like pearls. You know that girl and no one is any wiser. So as if on cue, electric blue. Um, the Outsiders featuring the Q-Tip rap. Um, I absolutely love that uh, in this same year, Bad Religion featured a rapper and R.E.M. featured a rapper as well. Um, you took me to the restaurant where we first met. You knocked, you knocked a future shock crowbar upside my head. What does that mean? You knocked a future shock crowbar upside my head. Some of, my, some of the most visually stimulating lyrics I've ever heard. Um, I just feel this like they're at a diner and he's on a date with someone and they're like, they've got like a, some kind of like, uh, like a napkin holder and you're like punch hitting each other in the face. Uh, they're like beating up Michael Stipe with a napkin holder. That's what I'm imagining. Um, I got caught with the stop of the tick tock, tick tock clock when you told me what you knew. Lost in the moment, the day that the music stopped, and I do remember you. Oh, man. Drawing patterns with a cork on the tablecloth. Promising volcanic change of plot. Where will this lead us? I'm scared of the storm. The outsiders are gathering. The new day is born. This is one of my favorite R.E.M. songs. I tried to tell you, I tried to tell you I am not afraid. You looked up and saw it all across my face. So am I with you or am I against? I don't think it's that easy. We're lost in regret. Now I'm trying to remember the feeling when the music stopped. When you told me what you knew. Lost in the moment. The day that the music stopped 
And I do remember you. Oh, man, this is a gorgeous record. Give it another chance. If you hated Around the Sun, give it another listen, please. Um, especially The Outsiders and Leaving New York. So far. Drawing patterns with a cork on the tablecloth. Um, here's the rap verse at the end. A man walks away when every muscle says to stay. How many yesterdays they each weigh heavy. Who says what changes may come? Who says what we call home? I know you see right I know you see right through me, my luminescence fades. The dust provides an antidote. I am not afraid. I've been a million times in my mind, and this is really just a technicality, frailty, reality. Uh, it's time to breathe, time to believe. This is, um, this is very relevant today. Let it go and run towards the sea. They don't teach that. They don't know what you mean. They don't understand. They don't know what you mean. They don't get it. I want to scream. I want to breathe again. I want to dream. I want to float a quote from Martin Luther King. I am not afraid. 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 Make it all okay. Final straw. I wanted to be wrong. Um, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous REM record. I highly suggest Around the Sun. It was poorly received by everyone. Give it a listen whenever you have a chance. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Uh, all seven of you. Uh, please have a good night. Stay safe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe for a ton of these. I'm going to go hang up my REM poster on the wall. Whoa! Whoa! All right, guys. Whee!